Well, let's have a look then, shall we, at some highlights from that race. Away from the lights, it was James McManus who led the way down towards the first corner. Some great starts further down the field as well for Jack Roach on the second row of the grid. But keep an eye out in the mid-pack. Abs Thomas coming to blows there. Bit of contact with Charlie Atkins initially. Down in towards the gravel she went. Sadly, her race not going past the first corner. Then we saw some great lead scraps here as well. Jack Roach going up the inside of his teammate. Kieran Kent getting his elbows out as well. It was action of plenty at the sharp end of the field in the opening stages of the race. And Charlie Atkins there on the 56 kept his powder dry for the majority of that race, but really came into his own in the closing stages whilst others began to falter. There you can see up the inside the number 93 went of Mikey Hardy, the eventual race winner making his way through on teammate Jack Rose, who sadly faded towards the closing stages of the race. Down in towards the Craner curves, Rose though sending it through up the inside, a Dandare move on the brakes, making that stick for the race lead at this particular point. Meanwhile, this is the end, unfortunately, of the former championship leader Harry Cook's race down in the gravel at Coppice. And then it was a fantastic scrap for the race win between James McManus and the number 93 of Mikey Hardy. Up the inside, he went into the final corner. A half second penalty awarded there for McManus as well for Cassie the Chicane. Mikey Hardy, though, takes the honours in race one here for Junior Supersports at Donington Park.